was a service member who had a very significant mental health diagnosis. And unfortunately, that diagnosis was impacting their behavior to the extent that they were charged with misconduct violation. Um, this person could be separated um, for the misconduct charge, but because they were reaching out to uh, disability evaluation attorneys, they were educated on their rights and um, they were referred to a formal board and then they ended up being found unfit uh, with a disability percentage. So a person like that is, is something's wrong if they're being separated from misconduct when the reason that they're being separated from misconduct has everything to do with their disability. I'm Mrs. Angela Collum, a formal physical evaluation board attorney at Washington Navy Yard, and I represent sailors and Marines as they're navigating through the physical evaluation board system. The stage in which I actually help service members is when they've already been referred to a medical evaluation board and they may disagree with their findings and they need help contesting their findings at a formal physical evaluation board. What brought me to the Navy JAG Corps as a civilian attorney was that as a reserve JAG in the Army, I did some work as a soldiers, soldiers PEB counsel uh, for the Army in their western region. And then I was representing soldiers at physical evaluation boards. Um, this was a mobilization for two years and I absolutely loved the work. Uh, I loved helping service members ensure that they were being medically separated with the right disability percentage or that they were being retained when they should be retained. It was a very rewarding work. Uh, so there was an opportunity to apply for a similar position as a civilian with the Navy and I jumped on the opportunity. Service members really need to be aware um, of what the rules are um, governing you know, disability evaluation system. Um, so that they can be separated with the right disability percentage um, or p potentially found fit if their conditions have improved and they desire to be retained in service. The most rewarding thing about this work is that you can really help make a difference in the lives of sailors and marines. Um, the TRICARE benefits alone can really help people. Um, if you have a certain disability percentage, um, you could separate and have TRICARE for life which could really make a difference for your family. And if you have a certain disability level, that's exactly what you should be separated with. The work that we do at our office is very, very important uh, because you, what you don't want to happen is for people to be separated without benefits when they incur disability throughout their service. And that disability is gonna negatively affect them and their ability to work for the rest of their lives. And you know, there's, it's no secret that some of the PEB members um, have said in the past that you know, they have the doctors that can figure out the disability process. The attorneys you know, will just get in the way. The reality is, is there are many cases that slip through the cracks. And if the attorneys aren't there and aren't available to the service members, that is what will happen.